Now, my opponent in this election, Governor Romney, is a patriotic American. He's raised a wonderful family. He should be proud of the great personal success he's had as the CEO of a large financial firm. But, but I think he's drawn the long, wrong lessons from his experience. Because his working assumption is if, if CEOs and, and wealthy investors like him get rich, then the rest of us automatically will too. When, uh, there was a woman in Iowa who shared her stories of financial struggles. And, and, and he gave her an answer right out of an economic textbook. He said, our productivity equals our income. <laughs> and, 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 and the notion was that, that somehow the reason people can't pay their bills is because they're not working hard enough. If they got more productive, some, suddenly their incomes would go up. Well, th those of us who've spent time in the real world Know that the problem isn't that the American people aren't productive of, enough. You've, you've been working harder than ever. The challenge we face right now, and the challenge we faced for over a decade, is that harder work has not led to higher incomes. And bigger profits at the top haven't led to better jobs. And what Governor Romney doesn't seem to get is that a healthy economy doesn't just mean a few folks maximizing their profit, profits through massive layoffs or, or busting unions. You don't make America stronger by shipping jobs and profits overseas. When you propose cutting your own taxes while raising them on 18 million working families, that's not a recipe for broad-based economic growth. And it's true.